I welcome you all to this 9th standard science class matter in our surroundings and I am sure that talking to you all children today let us try to know about another state of matter that is liquid to know the simple and the basic properties of liquids children let me just draw few figures here these are the containers and I am pouring some water into this. This is about half liter of water and here also I have half liter of water. Only the container is different but the quantity what I have taken is the same. But, you, but when you pour them into these containers they are just occupying the shape are taking the shape to whichever container the water is put in. The quantity remains the same but the shape changes that means it has a fixed volume but no definite shape no definite shape but a fixed volume means it takes proper a certain amount a quantity of uh, a place in a container so that is why we say have no definite shape but they have a fixed volume. They take the shape of the container uh, to whichever we actually pour these liquids into. They flow easily. They flow uh, very easily compared to the solid particles. That means they are not rigid. Not rigid. This flow, that means they flow easily. That is because of the particles present in them. Particles, the reason for flowing easily or for not being rigid is because of particles have more space. Particles have more space between them. So this is the main uh, reason for the liquids to flow easily. Then we have one more property called as diffuse. That means getting along with the other state of matter. Now for example, if we take water, H2O. H2O is a liquid whereas H is a gas and O is also gas. So hydrogen is one gas and this one is another gas. They come together and they give rise to liquid. So liquids have the property to get along with some other material. That means gaseous material. Liquid get along with the gaseous material. Gaseous uh, molecules will um, diffuse with the liquids also. We have one more. We can go for one more example salt in water so when we have water which is a liquid form and salt is a solid form crystalline form they dissolve it becomes salt water that means another state of matter so these um, we can conclude that solids liquids as well as gases can diffuse into liquids they diffuse into liquids the rate of diffusion the rate of diffusion of liquids is higher than that of solids. So that is what we can see. Uh, this is uh, what the basic properties of the liquids and uh, further part we shall know in the next class. Thank you.